just about set to go and towing the slab Michael King Chris is up three ERA for him a year ago well, when your numbers are coming in under three as a starting pitcher that's going out there every fourth or fifth day, taking the ball, competing against really good big league hitters, it's extremely impressive. And you wonder what he picked. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustments. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. Two outs, bases empty. Paul Goldschmidt getting ready to hit. This one in the air. Cronenworth makes the grab. And that's the third Back here with my pal Siggy and today's starting pitcher, Lance Lynn. Well, this guy's coming off a season where fell short of 200 strikeouts, which is kind of the ultimate for pitchers to get to that level. And it just tells you how nasty his stuff is, but it also leaves a little bit on the table for him to come out this season and make sure that he gets over that number so that he can go into the offseason feeling like I'm in a pretty special group. Gets to it with a slide, and they cut the out. Let's guy. take a look at the Padres lineup. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers, so we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take... And this ball is crushed in the left field. It's on its way in. Oh. He sends it out of here. And the Padres take the lead. It's 1-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Base is empty with two away. Ha Sung Kim will hit next. Next offering popped in the air, right field. That one gets down for a hit. And that extends the inning. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. But the way defenders track down balls these days. Rudder takes off. Out there to center. Burleson has this one sized up. He makes the grab. And that ends the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now a 1-0 ball game. You're watching. Back here at Petco Park. New inning getting started. Here's Nolan Gorman. Left-hand hitter waits. And there's a foul ball. And a 1-2. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case one right ball, there. Two the Cards down by a run here in game one of this three game set. Line the other way. That's a fair ball, and down the right field line and towards that corner. Runner on at first with one gone. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Ooh, here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have a good game. He always seemed to play better in road games. That one blasted deep to right. Tatis ranging back. Grabs it right up against the wall. Well, that one ended up a lot closer to home run than I thought off the bat. Clearly didn't get it all. But with that wind blowing out to right, almost pushed that one over the wall. Two outs. Just the ball. missed. Two and one. Next <laughs> offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Two 
and a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Arenado off the of first with two away. And ball another count. ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Brandon Croft. <laughs> threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to Anita. The card. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now batting jerks and profile. No left field. Jerks. Profile. The wind and the pitch. Out towards right center field. Sizing this one up. He's got it. And there's one away. Batting seven. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. One out, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Bounced out to short. Gathers and throws to first. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. To Capita Marcano. Digs in now. Swings through that. One and two is the count. And ball. there's a the ball. Two outs, base is empty. Bounce to the left side. Edmund fires over to first. Out number three. Back here in San Diego, top half of the third inning. Now up for St. Louis, Brandon Crawford. There's a swing and a drive. And gone! His first homer of the year, it's 1-1. Sometimes too much velocity will cause a pitcher to throw through the sink, and that means that there's more four seam action than there is sink, and that can turn into a really good pitch to hit. Well, we saw it right there. Didn't miss a stitch on that baseball. He's got himself a home run. Now a chance for Alec Burleson. But he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Tied up here in the early going. That one oh. misses, and the count's full. Full count. Left field. Profar calls it in, and there's one away. Tommy Edmond at the plate. One run across in the frame so far. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Two. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. One, two. Swing and a bouncer. Slings to first. And they get Edmund for the out. Jordan Walker now at the plate. Swings and misses. And the count. One and two. One and two. Two down. Nobody on. And they'll do it again. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's good. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. One for the Cardinals on the solo home run. All even at one apiece. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Jose Azokar. Here comes a pitch. And now two and one. That one hit to right. Fair ball. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he starts the bottom of the third with a double. <laughs> Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Azokar leads off second with nobody out. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Coming home. Throw is up the line, and he scores. It's 2-1. Everything came together for him. We often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the right-time swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field.
Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Lynn with a throw over. Tatis dives back in. The pitch. Tatis runs. Pitch in for a strike. Transfer bobbled, and there's no throw. In the air to left center. Pulls it in on the run. One away. Here's Manny Machado. One out, the runner at second. Here in the last half of the third. Lynn with a throw over. Tatis dives back in. And it's second. Runner breaks for third. Pitch misses. Contreras throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Well, sometimes stealing third base can be tough, especially if that shortstop or second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of that. Get a comfortable lead, got a great jump, and that's how you steal third base. Out towards left center. Walker moves towards it. Nabs it. Runner tagging and head for home. And the throw is over his head. So digging in, ha Sung Kim. The line to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. That one ripped. And no one can get there. And that's going to roll to the wall. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle seriously we're starting with this already puts it in the air out towards left center and that is that they get two runs on three it's no errors at one left on to inning number four it and we're back all set for the start of the inning and here's Paul Goldschmidt Slice the other way and foul. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. And now the DH, Nolan Gorman. Nolan Gorman. One down, base is empty. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. And it's That's even up. Two balls, two strikes. The Cardinals down by a pair. Top half of inning number four. Next full. one misses. Counts full, three and two. Count is full. Such a game of inches as we see it right there. Extended and just out of his reach. Had a bad read and a bad jump, but I think that's what cost him. It turned into extra bases. Here's Nolan Arenado. The pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Fouls it off, still one and two. At the belt and fires. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball in the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. Just off the inside edge. Matt Carpenter up next for the Cardinals. 
In the air, right field. Tatis makes the play, and it's out number three. So one left for the Cardinals, and it remains a 3-1 ball. Jerickson Pro the next to hit. The left field. Ground ball right side and foul ball. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. One gone here. And here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. The catcher, Kyle Higashioka. That's towards center. Burleson drifts towards it. And there's two down. Tucapita Marcano, the next up for the Padres. So now one and two. Up the middle. And that one finds its way through. And that keeps the inning going. So up next, Jose Azokar. The other way, and it gets down, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two now away. Right, right. A couple of hits in a row for him here. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blue, flare, duck snort, lawn dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time. Crawford throws the first in time. And they take care of Tatis for the out. What a Ready now for the fifth inning. And now the right fielder, Matt Carpenter. Matt <laughs> And he swings through that one. What a two. Wouldn't chase oh. that time. Down the left field line. Looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he pulls in with a double for his first hit of the year. Showed some really nice patience in that at yeah, bat. Yeah. Worked himself into a good count. That was a thing right, of beauty. Right. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. And that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. There's the strike of the knees. One ball, two strikes. Here's a high chopper. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Now battle. The center field. Alec Burleson. So digging in, Alec Burleson. Carpenter, the runner at third. Crawford at first with no outs. Ah! Huge strikeout there. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Tommy Edmond next up for the Cardinals. Right through there for a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. On the ground to first. Could be two. Over to second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. A hit and an error in the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two. Line drive. Burleson pulls that one down. One up, one down. 
Here's Machado. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. This one in the air right field. Carpenter flashes the leather on the running catch. Top of the sixth inning. Now the number two hitter, Jordan Walker. Fly ball down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. And no, another ball. Up. Ball set to throw pitch number 100. He needs a quick inning here if he's going to be able to make it through six complete. Bounce to the right side. Cronenworth takes it himself. Now one gone in the top of the six. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One and two, count. And a pitch. Just no, misses miss. with that one. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside two two. corner. Sneaks ah, through that one. It's a strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten it. Didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. On the ground. On the run, throw to first. Oh. And it's a one, two, three inning. So they make short work of them there. We go to bottom of the six. Here's Xander Bogarts. The wind of the pitch. Warning track. Oh, and he can touch all baseball man. That was blasted to the moon. It's 4-1. That one just sounded different. Yeah, it might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. That home run was a no-doubter as we dive into the numbers with stack pads. Crushed. They just absolutely 112 miles per hour on the exit below and they hand the ball over to a new arm, Andrew Kittredge. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Stepping in, jerks in profile. Base hit. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And now two and one after that missed inside. Action in the St. Louis bullpen. Zach Thompson appears to be getting loose. Number 62 also getting ready. And a good eye there. Rudder at first with no outs here. Ground ball right side could be two. To second, there's one on the Goldschmidt. That's two. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Now we're back up the middle, and it gets through. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Hey. Kittredge checks over to first, and he's back. One run across in the frame so far here in the bottom of the sixth. And now it's going to be Jose Azokar. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that, that is that. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 4-1 ball. Back here at Petco Park, here's Nolan Arenado. This isn't a pitcher that softens up when he starts to show signs of fatigue. I mean, his stuff stays sharp. 
makes these at bats more difficult than they normally would be against other pitchers at this stage of the game. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. A little out front there as he swings through it. That one is absolutely belted back there. And that one is gone. He'll touch them all. And they close the gap. It's 4-2. That gives them hope they can pull off this comeback. They just need a few more swings like that, and they're back in business. That's just a great feeling as a hitter. You let the ball travel, tracked it pretty nicely. He's almost beat there, but he gets the bat head in time, and it's true. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like Jairo Iriarte comes on now. He's making his second appearance of the season. And here is Wilson Contreras. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Foul ball still, one and two count. And the right hater deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. Hammer, base hit. Well, he really had to battle for that oh, one. Man, that was so fun to watch. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now it's back Carpenter. The tying run at the plate. Yeah. And the swing and a miss. One away. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a... Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Gets that's it enough. there in time, though. And they get it out of the play. Oh, this is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Tying run at the plate. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Cardinals do get one back on the solo blast. It's now. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 62. This is his third time out this year. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Touches down, that's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. That could be a really tough pitch to handle. A front door breaking. Tatis runs. There's a ball. Throw the second great jump, and that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. When you're trying to swipe a bag against an elite level arm behind the plate like this guy, runner on the go again. That's in for a strike. And it throws off line, safe and third. That's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him and right there, still in third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. Tatis at third with nobody out. Bounce to the right. And it gets by him. And the score is the runner from third and they take a three-run lead. 
Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. And now it's Manny Machado. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. Makes the catch one down. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter, even though you know that. They still drive you absolutely crazy. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. The 2 1. They stack center field. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot no, no, of no, hits no, no, there. Second baseman, Andrew. Boom, another ball. Just a slow ground ball this time. Tosses to first. Bogarts retire. Boog, that's a good at bat simply because they found a way to move both runners up the base. Now they're in a really good spot with two runners in scoring position. Jerks and Profar getting ready to hit. And that's that down and away. Ball. It's a good take. Two and two. Now fly ball to right center. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 5-2. Back here in San Diego, ready to begin the eighth. And here comes Tommy Edmond. And he deals. Well, it's critical no, right here ball. that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Just the off the outside edge. Tried to back down door with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Machado drifts towards it, and there's one down. So up next, Jordan Walker. Try to get him to chase on the changeup that time. Boils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The 2-2 on the way. On the ground to third, Machado. Fires across the diamond, two up, two down. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. The Padres leading by three, and we're at the top of the eighth. That misses ball. the zone, and that's ball two. two one. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Hard hit, left side. Throw over to Cronenworth. St. Louis goes down in order. Redbird back now. New pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Zach Thompson. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. And now the lefty. And ball. another ball. Two balls, one strike. Next ball pitch count. misses way outside. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. And here it comes. 
And there's ball That's four. Out. Ball four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Up, four up, straight up, pitches up. and a leadoff batter is on the base. Here. We'll see if the next guy he waits until out. there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. So they're making the move for a bat off the bench. Luis Campusano, a runner at first, four, nobody out. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Walker raging back towards the wall. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. And boy, do they catch a break. Otherwise, you're looking at runners around the bases and probably a run that scores. Next for the Padres, Jose Azokar. Swing and a miss. One and two. One and two is the count. And a pitch. Lifted in the air right center field. Carpenter makes the grab on the run. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. Jake Cronin, the next up for the Padres. In the air out to center, moving under this one. Calls it in, and there's two away. Bat. Here's the Manny Machado breaking. now. You have to be careful throwing him breaking no, pitches, no, even no, in an 0 no. count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back there. Another homer. His second home run of the game. A four spot on the board. It's 9-2 already playing with the lead and now they're celebrating a home run they're having a great time out there well he comes through big time with the grand slam here but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of them good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one Pitcher for the Cardinals, Matthew Liberatore. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters gonna have to pick it up early if they're gonna have any chance. Now here is Hassan Kim. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Goodbye, Goodbye. They go back to back. His first homer of the year. It's 10 to 2. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. So two away with nobody on. So digging in now for San Diego, Xander Bogarts. That one down the line, and it stays fair. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Swings and lines one towards the gap, and that'll get down for a base hit. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Now at the plate, Kyle Higashioka. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Check swing, went around. One and two. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game no, that looking basketball. at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Center field. He's got it. That is the inning. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. Last 
And we're back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the DH. Nolan Gorman. Tom Cosgrove. On a pitch out of the pen here. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing no, strikes, ball. attacking these hitters. That's the third. Machado. Whips it to first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. He's two outs away. Now the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. The lefty ready and a right one one and strike two. One and two. To count. Lefty continues to work with the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Ball. And a curve is down and in. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so he might have it timed up and ready for it. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Now only oh, one out remaining. Ball. Well, we saw a they solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following well. suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Cosgrove is just one strike away. <laughs> and that'll do it. After four runs in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll. It just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs. But it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 10 to the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.